What's up everybody, uh, Randomizer here, continuing my, um, I wouldn't, well, talk through of, Star welcome to Star Wars World Academy demo, uh, we, where we left off, we've just got off the train, we're about to head in at the academy, I presume, Dixie's just off to take our bags from us, and I'm st we're starting, I, my character Tom's starting to get more suspicious on how special the agreement is that Ty's got with the headmaster slash headmistress. Okay. Let's go. I don't remember if I said this last time, but I'll keep, I'll, uh, I'll say it then. Before he was going to say anything more, she disappears around the gates, or you're on her way to, way to the dorms. Uh, wait, where are our rooms anyway? No one told us where we were staying. Don't worry, the headmaster will tell us once we get to her office. Let's just head inside for now, shall we? She wanted us in the office by 3.30, so it's best not to keep her waiting. Sure, let's do it. Ty follows in Dixie's footsteps and opens the front gate. I quickly follow behind her. The courtyard opens up before me and I get just get a feel of just how big this place really is. So all I can do is to keep from gawking as my eyes wander about the scenery and the ever slowly approaching building. In the distance I hear what sounds like a school ball going off. Students slowly start appearing as they head on the way for, way for various activities. Some of them pass us, perhaps on the way into town. Some were just out for a walk in the park. And others seem to be waiting for other people. So all I can do to keep from gawking as my eyes... Okay, that went back for some reason. Yeah, 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 it said that. Okay. I can't help but notice how well off a lot of these students appear. All of the uniforms are well taken care of, and they're all walking around with expensive phones or bags. I already feel myself being conscious of how normal my own things are look, only look in comparison. It takes us a good few minutes to get close to the main building, when Ty stops hand on hand on her chin in thought. Hmm. What, having second thoughts now? Huh? Of course not. Do you not know the way? Yeah, you, Ty, it's fine, we'll just ask for directions. Well, I suppose it makes sense. I'd prefer just to look for some signs that would tell us where to go, but asking people works too. Just a matter of finding someone else now. Hi there. Wah. <laughs> Gah. Why, is my, why do they get so surprised when someone says hello to them, man? Oh my god. Alright. Put in the comments if you know who that is. <clears throat> From out of nowhere, a girl grabs our hands and shakes them. My name's Paulina Parks. You two must be new here. Welcome to Star Wars Academy. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. We just got here. The bright pink girl inhales, inhales with a large gas for some reason. Ty's words seem to have shocked her. That means you must have been able to make um, able to make any friends yet, or get a chance to see the campus, or taste any of the food, or even get the pet, pet one of the new baby bunnies. Maybe bunnies. Oh yes, that's true, but there will be time for that soon. See, we're actually looking for directions to the headmaster's office. Could you tell us the way? Could I? I can do better than that. I'll take you there myself. If like a tour of Star Wars or extravaganza, let old Polly Parks lead the way, and you'll be there before you know it. To tour. No, no, we just need... There's another flash of pink and suddenly my vision is filled with a deep blue. Her face is, is so close that I can feel her nose pressing up against, this, uh, against mine as I stare into her eyes. What do you think? Sounds like fun, right? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, fun. <laughs> Doesn't this girl know a thing about personal space? Kind of. <clears throat> All right. Her arms surrounding me and squeezing me tightly for a hug as a giggle escapes her licks, lips. My face is quickly flushing. I can already tell we're going to be the bestest of friends. In a flurry of excitement and energy, she grabs hold of my hand and breaks the embrace, only to quickly start dragging me off deep into the schoolyard. I wonder why it's just me she's doing all this to. She's not doing anything with Ty. <coughs> <coughs> hey, hey, wait for me. I quickly yells out as she gives a chase to the hurricane that appears to be abducting me. So what's your name? I haven't heard it yet. My name? 
Of course I can't properly talk, start the tour without knowing your name. Then why do you start dragging me already? Uh, it's, um... Ah, uh, that's not, that, no, that's a silly name. Who, whose name is that kid? Uh, I don't know. You never know in this world. There, there could be someone called Uh. It's not Uh, it's Tom. Oh, see, that wasn't so hard now, was it? This girl. And what? what's your girlfriend's name? What? I, I don't have a girlfriend. Well, sure you do. She's a girl who's your friend, right? A girlfriend. Ha uh ha. -huh. I think I'm going to have an aneurysm. Hold up, you two! So it seems Ty finally caught up. She's panting. I can already tell she's not used to running around a lot. She really doesn't. should exercise more. Geez, just running off like that. Couldn't you at least wait for me? Oh, I thought you might be right behind us. So sorry, I'll make sure you were both able to enjoy the Polly Park Spectacular Star Wars Academy Extended Grand Tour. I don't think we really signed up for this. You should just have kind of showed up and start dragging us along. We we really don't need it. And what's your name? You haven't told me yet. My name? Yes, your name's silly. I can't give you a proper tour unless I get you to know your name. But we don't... She lets out a side of defeat and crosses her arms. My name's Ty S Sato. I think that's Sato. And we need to get to the headmaster's office. We have an important meeting we have to get to. Oh, I totally understand. The headmaster is awfully wonderful. I'll make sure you're on the time for your meeting, no problem. Really? You're sure about that? Absolutely positively. I don't think positively is a word. So, on on the first step of on the first stop of the Polly Park Super Amazing School Tour, I present to you Star School Academy Courtyard. She opens her arms wide as she shows off the area we've just finished, walking through. Seems classes have just finished. There are a lot of more students wandering around now. The courtyard is the most commonly used recreational area. It can be used for a wide variety of things. Picnics, sports, hanging out, studying, dates, walking, walks, parties, late night rendezvous, pretty much anything you can think of. I don't think of I don't think most people would use the courtyard for all the, in all of those ways. As you can imagine, it's it's become a somewhat popular part of the campus. That you'll see f fewer people here s around study time, of course. But the year has just uh, have, has just started. Every pony, <laughs> where did that come out of? So everyone is just taking the time to enjoy themselves. Seems pretty relaxed for such a prestigious prestigious academy. Oh, it just looks that way. Some students have simple simple tasks to complete around this time. The classes are very serious. For example, I already have 5,000 word essay due by next week. Bro, I've, I've handled something like that for English before. It, it was I know it's a pain in the ass. 5,000? The school's only been open for a day. Wasn't it just orientation? Oh, Lord. What have I got myself into? Well, that sounds simple enough. Maybe for a walking encyclopedia. So the courtyard is just, uh, is just the commons? Pretty much. There's only the entrance... And it's is on campus, so everyone uses it at some point. Of course, you can always walk into town if you want, as it's only about 20 minute walk from campus. A lot of students like to hang out there during the breaks. I see. What kind of things are they doing in town? Oh, there are things like a restaurant, a movie theatre, an arcade, a shopping district, a town square, and a lot of other little mom and pa shops. Everything to fill out any of your towning needs. I see, I see. I'll be sure to keep that all in mind. Boy, for someone who wasn't interested in it at all, not at all, she sure has taken a sudden interest in everything Polly is saying. <coughs> oh. Damn. If you ever need a tour of town, I'd be able to help there as well. For now, though, we'll keep it just to school. Let's head for the next area. Whoops, sorry. Polly bounds off towards the building in front of us, leaving me and Ty to try and catch up with her. As Polly opens the door, front doors of the building in front of us, we're greeted with hallways that stretch out to meet several classrooms. Way down the hall, I can see a stairwell leading to the other floors, with students sparsely populating the paths. 
Welcome to the main school building. Here's the centre of knowledge in the whole school. You'll find teachers, books, notes, sometimes lockers, and chalkboards. What do you mean sometimes?